Hey everyone, welcome back to the podcast. I hope you guys have had an awesome week. Um, I have kind of a different thing we're going to be doing this episode. I'm just going to wait until the end and you'll know why it's different. It's going to be a really exciting episode because I use, I get to use like manifestation, creativity and also get to talk about like my goals five years from now and you'll find out at the end of the episode as to how I'm going to incorporate that into this week's episode. So before I start with anything else I'm going to tell you guys about my week. <laughs> like I always do, I love updating you guys. I love you guys feeling a connection towards me because I want to start to create a community, a fan base for the podcast, for me as an individual. So I want you guys to know as much about my life as possible so you feel like we're friends, if that makes sense. So I don't want to be one of those people where that has a podcast and I don't talk about my personal life because I just feel like if you want a fan base, if you want a community, you have to let your listeners know what's been going on in your life so they feel like someone is actually talking to them, if that makes sense. That's what I like about listening to podcasts. You feel really connected with the person who's talking. Um, they make you feel like you're just one of their friends. So that's what I want to um, make you guys feel, okay? So, first things first, I felt really good last week, like, I have no complaints, I didn't stress out much at work, but that was probably because I had Saturday off, so I worked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I had Saturday off because I had an appointment, um, I did say that I could work from 12, um, but they didn't put me on at all, they said that I deserved a day off, so, which I believe I did, so, yeah, and then Sunday was, like, one of those days where it was, like, did I even go to work, because it was just, like, I had Saturday off, then Sunday was just, like, because I didn't work for Saturday, it just felt really relaxing, and did, at the end of the day, I was, like, did I even go to work, um, and then I did Monday and Tuesday off. On the Saturday, though, something good that really happens is I got bubble tea. <laughs> Yeah, the clue. Oh my god, what, what? Okay, so bubble tea brings me happiness. It is just something that I love. So, something new I tried with bubble tea is three J's. I have to look it up on Google. So, there was this bubble tea at the place that my sister actually got me the, got me the bubble tea. So, there's this place that we get the bubble tea from, and it had, I think it was milk tea with. Three J's, three jellies. So you get pudding, jelly, black pearls, which you know I love, and then um, I think it was herbal jelly. It tasted so good because I never tried it before. It's like my new favorite thing. I love the different textures. Like I feel like I love the tea, the like the liquid that you get with it, but I love the toppings even more. It's just something about the texture. You know, I was talking about this a lot in a couple episodes ago, saying that sometimes you only like food for the texture. Like, you have no taste, but you like the texture of the food, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I have no complaints. Yesterday. So, I record this on Tuesday, so I'm talking about Monday. You guys, this gets released on Friday, so... Yeah, um, yesterday, I got so much done, like, I was just, I crammed so much into one day, I was so proud of myself. So, I got my YouTube video done, where I did a restock haul video, so I have, like, this, I'm not sure if I talked about it last week, I have this, um, container full of skincare products, makeup, like, makeup wipes, stuff to apply makeup with, like, beauty blenders, like, I have, like, a basket, and it's got all that stuff in it. And so I was just like going through what I have to restock when I run out of something. So there was a lot. I'm actually thinking of getting drawers because so it's more organized. So I'm gonna have to be like digging through for 
say my body lotion which is at the bottom like I can just open like the third drawer and yeah so I don't have to go digging through I then like edited it got clips from it because I told you guys a few weeks ago that I'm about 80% sure that I told you guys this but if you have a YouTube channel I'm gonna give you some tips okay if you have a YouTube channel if you have a podcast okay so I'll go through what you do for a podcast first. so what I did recently I think like a couple months ago I started doing like I take a clip like a little snippet from the so this is for the audio for your podcast I took a little snippet from like the middle of the podcast and I put it at the start of the podcast so before you intro take out a bit of your podcast that you feel like will hook your wiz, like listeners into your podcast want to keep listening and want to know more about what you're talking about so say I was talking about motivation and I say like a sentence about motivation something that really highlights what you're talking about put that at the start of your podcast then your intro a really easy way of doing an intro is just putting background music and say like your name introduce yourself what you talk about stuff like that so just use my intro as an example of stuff you could say and then you also want to trim not trim but like split your sections up so I have where I talk about my week then I have my self-care journal then I have like the topic then I have the discussion question so you put interludes in between those so if you get ads you have the interlude then you have the ad and then you have another interlude so what I've been doing I don't have ads because um, I'm not sponsored by anyone or anything so I just put in two interludes just in case you know what I mean so I just put like the interlude twice so it kind of um, so it does seem like so if I did have an ad, I could just put it in between, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, so that's for your podcast. If you have a MP4 version of your podcast, like me, take out three to five clips of your podcast. This is also for your YouTube video, so I'm going to just in like combine the two. So for any YouTube video you're doing, anything you're uploading to YouTube, Take three to five clips, um, like maximum, I would recommend maximum one minute so you can turn them into shorts. So upload them to YouTube shorts, TikTok, um, Instagram. So I have four Instagram accounts, one for the podcast, a food Instagram, one um, just a personal one, and one where I will upload my YouTube um, clips. So people know um, what I'm talking about on my YouTube channel. I also upload those clips to my podcast Instagram story and my personal Instagram story. I will also um, so yeah, I the day it comes out, like my so after it's been published that night, I will upload them to. Instagram um, and TikTok. Also, the same time I upload the full video to YouTube, I upload the shorts. You want to make sure you get YouTube Studio so you can add your tags. And yeah, I use Ucut to edit my videos. It's really good. I found that it's, it works really well. It's free, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, and another thing that I realised is captions. So if you want your TikTok videos to stand out, use captions on your TikTok videos. They auto-generate. For YouTube, they don't. That's what I realised yesterday. So I really didn't want to sit through and, like, type out all my captions for my long video but I did it for my shorts that way I can like see does it actually work Do, does having captions work and if it does work like if it makes 
helps me get more views, more watch time. I'll start doing it for my longer videos because you got to put all this effort in if you want something to succeed. You know what I mean? So you can't like sit there and be like, I'm not going to do that. And then your videos don't get as much views. But if you do that, like if you don't try something, you don't know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to see if it works for my shorts. And if it does, I'll think about doing it for my longer videos. So that is like my advice for you. If you have a YouTube, if you have a podcast. I'm not one of those people that gets jealous of other people's success, like, because I feel like I'm doing well with my YouTube, with my podcast, and there's no need for me to get jealous, you know what I mean? Um, I'm one of those people where I love seeing other people succeed. So there's this girl that I work with, and she is thinking of doing a YouTube channel, she's like, she was like I don't know where to start, and I was giving her tips, I'm like, she wants to do vlogs. I'm like, my advice to you is you can do vlogs where you like talk in front of the camera or you can voice over it. I prefer the voice overing one. Like I gave her those two options. I'm like, it works better because you don't have to talk. Um, you can just record little videos and then voice over it later. I was just said, I keep telling her, yes, do it. Okay, just go do it. You don't know what's going to happen. And then she says, I'm going on a road trip. I'm going to do that. I'm going to like vlog that. I'm like, that's, that's great. Yeah, so I feel like I'm someone who motivates people. I'm not someone that gets jealous of other people's successes or um, someone who's scared about how well other people are going to do. Because I am happy with how my um, podcast and YouTube is going. Even if they were flunking, I would still be someone that motivated people because I'm just genuinely not a negative person towards like other people and what they want to do. If it's going to benefit someone else, go for it. Okay? Go for it. Like I'm not someone that will hold you back. Okay? I'm not someone that gets jealous over what other people could accomplish <laughs> because I have other goals and stuff like yeah. Okay? I told you guys last week that I was going to finish a post that I started um, last week. So I'm going to find that post. It was the one where it said, the older I get, the more I realise. So, number, the third one was, or well, number three was, the older I get, the more I realise that I do not want to be in chaotic relationships. Peace is my priority. Dealing with conflict in healthy ways is important to me. Making room for ease and fun in my relationships is necessary. I don't have the emotional space, time or capacity to entertain constant drama and dysfunction. So this is saying that the older you get, you realise that you don't have time for conflict or drama. You need to focus more on your peace. You need to focus more on just like your mental well-being like being around conflict and drama isn't healthy so you need to find ways to distance yourself from it you need to get rid of people that cause the drama and conflict you just need to start focusing on um what's upsetting you what's not so yeah you don't have the emotional space time or capacity to entertain constant drama and dysfunction. You need to have energy for other things, like things that make you happy, like spending time with people that make you happy. You can't like spend all your energy and time on people or things that bring conflict or drama. Okay, the next one is, the older I get, the more I realise that chosen family is necessary. Blood isn't always thicker. Family isn't always first. I'm learning this polarizing way of thinking has offered me clarity around my boundaries and inspired to me just to define family for myself. So, we all go through it where family members don't really act like family, where they couldn't really care less about you, where um, you just don't feel like they family, you know what I mean? So, we um, create these relationships with other people who aren't blood but we choose them to be in our lives. We choose them 
to be our family, okay? You know how you have like um, that person that you call Arnie that isn't really your Arnie or like um, your sister that really isn't your sister, like just your best friend. Yeah, okay? So I feel like detaching you from people who who are blood but don't but don't act like blood that is healthy okay don't feel bad about that like if they don't bring you happiness if they bring you down then yes you can remove them from your life okay so yeah it's saying basically you can set up boundaries and yeah it's helped her to define family for herself so she defines people who aren't blood as her family so that is healthy if you do that you're not a bad person if you remove people in your life that are meant to be family but don't act like it that's fine okay do what makes you happy do what's going to benefit you okay i'm going to say this again and again you're your number one priority your mental well-being is your number one priority okay Capital Y O U is your number one priority. <laughs> okay, so the last one is the older I get, the more I realize that I don't want to to be the last on my list. I deserve to take up intentional and meaningful space in my own life. I cannot be committed to serving others if I am constantly depleted and drained. I want to show up full and nourished in my relationships, not exhausted. Prioritizing myself has to play a part in my life. This is what I was saying earlier, you're your number one priority, okay? You cannot always please others, okay? You cannot always be there for people that take and take and take and take and don't give, okay? Do not waste all your energy on others okay because in the end you are your number one priority in the end you have to worry about yourself okay you are going to be there for yourself for the rest of your life no one else is going to be there more for you than yourself you cannot waste your time and energy on people that you don't know their full attentions that you don't know what their full intentions are with you okay just don't do it put yourself at the top of your list okay you're the only person you really have to please you're the only person you really have to care about okay i know some people will think that's very selfish but it's not okay because in the end you are there for yourself okay um, so, you cannot drain your energy, you cannot waste your time on others, okay, this is what you have to realise, this is what you realise when you get older, you realise that not everyone's nice, not everyone cares about you the same way as you care about them, so, yeah, prioritising yourself has to play a part in your life, okay, it's not selfish, never think that focusing on yourself is selfish, okay, we all need those breaks where we just like have self care, where we just like want to go to the spa by ourselves, where we just want to watch movies by ourselves, when we just want to, you know how last week I was saying um, how society thinks we're lazy if we take a break, there's just times when we want to take a break and just like put our feet up and like binge watch a TV show, that is fine, okay, just focus on you, okay. <laughs> Okay, so that was the post that I started last week. I've just finished it. Okay, now I'm going to go to my self-care journal, like always. Okay. I don't know. I was, like, getting really... Um, what's it called? I'm really passionate about, like, prioritizing yourself, like, me talking about that and, like, why. So... The activity that I did this week was all the things, write down a list of things that I want to learn. So the activity is called learn something new and I have to investigate how I could make it happen and I have to circle the top three, like the ones that I wanted to do the most. 
So, one thing that I want to do, some, one thing that I want to learn is do gymnastics because I just feel like, I don't know, I really want to learn how to do back flips, front flips, <laughs> um, stuff like that, like really cool, um, what is it, tricks and stuff like that. Another thing is like becoming more flexible. So this was in my top three. So that's like gymnastics, then how to become more flexible. Because I want to be able to do the split. I want to be able to do like a lot of different things, you know, that like I can't do now because my back isn't that flexible, my legs aren't that flexible. So I just want to be able to be a lot more flexible. Um, and then maybe it might make me a little less unco because I am unco so <laughs> yeah um so a way to learn gymnastics is to join a group so like find a gymnastics like group or a place where you can learn to do gymnastics something like that how to become more flexible I used to watch YouTube videos on this so I feel like YouTube would help also, that's another thing. If you want to learn how to make your YouTube channel and your podcast or like Instagram or TikTok better um, for mostly your YouTube, there are really some good videos on how you can improve your YouTube channel. So that's good. Um, another thing is singing because I really want to be able to hit the high note in Whitney Houston's I'll Always Love You <laughs> and Kesha's Praying. So... I feel like learning to sing will help me do that, will help me like have more vocal range, that makes sense. So learning to sing, sing, I could teach myself by practicing a song every day. I could watch YouTube videos, I could like get lessons, but I feel like I should start with YouTube videos and then if that's not working, I can pay for lessons. Um, and then further my Italian, because I did learn Italian all the way through primary school and high school. I feel like there's a lot more that I could learn. I do want to go to Italy one day, so having that more of that knowledge would really help. So a way of doing this is doing Duolingo again. I did have Duolingo, but kind of got I kind of gave up because I'm like it's taking too much time out of my day. But I'm not that person anymore. Okay, if it's gonna benefit me in some way, I'm gonna not give up. So yeah, further my Italian singing and how to become more flexible are my top three. And I really want to start doing, like, learning these things more next year. Because I feel like next year is a fresh year to try new things. Like, I got so much on my plate this year where I feel like I can have more time for those three things next year. And then the gymnastics in, like, a couple more years. So those are the things I want to learn or learn more of. So... I'm really curious to know some things you guys want to learn. So you can comment down below on the YouTube video if you're listening on, if you're watching on YouTube. Or you can send me a voice message or a DM. So a voice message on the podcast. Okay, you don't have to like tell me your name or anything. Like if you want it anonymous, you can keep it anonymous. Um, so yeah, tell me what you want to learn. And when you want to fully learn it by, like, what your goal is. And then, also, you can send me a DM on the Don't Worry I'm Here podcast Instagram. Yeah, I'm really, like, it will be fully anonymous. Like, I just want to let other listeners know. So then I can give them ideas and, like, let them know that they're, they're not the only one that wants to learn that skill or technique or something like that. So... Yeah, just like bring all our ideas together because I want to create a community, a fan base, where we all like feel like um, a group, like we all feel like friends, like a family, stuff like that, you know what I mean? So yeah, <laughs> this is the now thing that I'm going to be, so this is a different thing, okay? You know how I've been doing discussion questions lately? Well, this one says, if you were invited to give a TED talk, what would it be and what would it be about and why? 
Okay, let's get into it, shall we? So I did write down some dot points. Where is it? Okay. So I am going to so the manifestation creativity part in this question is me talking about so say I'm giving this TED talk in five years time. I'm also going to be talking about things that I want to accomplish in five years time as though I've already accomplished them. So this is going to be, what, how old am I now? 27 year old Nadia Voldemort <laughs> talking about what she's accomplished. Okay, so this is a future me in five years. It's also me talking about things that have happened in the past. So these are things that have actually happened. Okay, and then me talking about the future. So I'm going to try not to stuff up, I'm going to actually pretend that I am talking in front of an audience on a TED talk conference and let's see how I go. So let's get started. I used to be someone who would give up. I used to be someone who would break down if something got too hard. I would also be too scared to ask for help. In high school I was in the really low grade math class. This was from grade 8 to grade 9. So. At the start of grade 10, I was in one of a more higher up math class. So I was in maths A, which was more difficult than the one that I was in previously. So I had this teacher in grade 8 and 9 who would say to me, you're never going to get a higher mark than a C in maths A. I got a B in maths. I got an A on one of my assignments. I just succeeded in maths, okay? I was so tempted to go to that teacher and say, I proved you wrong. I proved you wrong that I couldn't get a higher mark than C. I then, so this is going more to uni, I then got into uni, it was kind of the same thing where I felt like I wasn't going to achieve much more because my first trimester I failed a class. I got a sub exam so I got to prove myself that I got to prove them that I could pass so I failed the assignment the exam that I needed to pass to be able to pass the whole subject they gave me another chance I passed that exam I got 50% on it which I needed so I passed that course I then the next trimester I got one credit for a class so I was really really happy about myself I was really proud I thought like I had accomplished something really big because I only got in a pass the next year however <laughs> I got straight distinctions and I just thought like I was the smartest person ever because going through high school, going through my first year of uni, I thought like I was kind of a failure, like I couldn't do any, any better. I felt like giving up, I felt like I wasn't going to be able to succeed. I never thought about dropping out of uni however. I was someone who had 
evolved into someone who just didn't want to fully give up they knew that there was some kind of hope there was someone else within me who was like this isn't the end you're going to be able to succeed so what I'm saying to you is never give up on your dreams don't have any regrets because if you give up on your dreams you're going to regret it if you give up on some part of your life where there could be success and you see that there was success you're gonna regret it prove and prove everyone wrong that ever doubted you so i proved my math teacher wrong i also proved many other people wrong which i'm going to talk to you about right now so when i was younger this was like when i was 10 i really wanted to be someone like I really wanted to make a name for myself I think it was after watching like the Golden Globes or something like that I'm like I want to be those people I want to be someone who has a name I want to be an influence towards people so I was like I want to be an actor people say that's stupid um then I thought yes I can't really act I it's so much work um then in my 20s I was like I'm gonna do YouTube I'm gonna start a podcast which I have started which is going very well when I was 22 I started doing this new thing so I evolved how I would put out my YouTube like how I would promote it how I would make it like bring it more to life so more people would know about it i started making clips like shorts on my youtube videos on my podcast i then had 2.3k views in the last 28 days i remember on one month i had 3.2.3k views so people probably like that's not a lot but it was a big improvement i also got my first 100 hours of watch time which was <laughs> I was over the moon I also gained 17 subscribers in that month which was a very big improvement okay also my podcast I love doing the podcast because it helps people my friend actually says that my podcast helps her with mental health which is very touching like I know <laughs> that it's helping at least one person so I now have 3 million subscribers on YouTube I also have many sponsors for my podcast I also have many eyeshadow colours because I in my early 20s, I was really passionate about eyeshadow. Like, I would collect it, like, so many eyeshadow palettes. I would have 20, like, 20 different eyeshadow palettes. Um, and perfume. So, I also have my range, own range of perfume, because I love perfume. Okay. I also have my own cosmetics line. So, this I have all achieved before my 30s. And that is because I'm passionate about all these things I love helping others and I put a lot of work and effort but the biggest thing is when things got tough I didn't give up I followed my dreams I, I pursued them okay so this is my this is my message to you if things get hard don't give up okay you won't achieve anything you only achieve regret okay so follow your dreams don't give up on them and your life will be the best life you could ever live <laughs> okay so that is my ted talk um i don't know if it like made sense but it was kind of on the spot i did have dot points but yeah 
that is me manifesting that is me creating my future i do want to create my own makeup like my cosmetics company i do want to create my own eyeshadow palettes because i love eyeshadow i also want to create my own perfume line my own fragrance line and the thing about my youtube and my podcast having heaps of sponsors and heaps of subscribers those are my goals like i'm gonna work very hard and i'm not gonna give up so if you like this video if you're watching the mp4 please give a thumbs up please subscribe to the youtube channel um also please follow the podcast on spotify or wherever you listen to podcasts I also want to hear what your goals are in the next five years so you can DM me on the Don't Worry I'm Here podcast, Instagram, you can send me a voice message, you can also comment in the comments of the YouTube video and next week you won't be hearing or seeing from me for a month so I won't be doing any full episodes, I'll be doing my weekly affirmations. Okay, so don't worry about that. I'll be doing them every week. So I'm going to be having my one month break. So if you're new, I have two months where I record content and then I have my one month break. Okay, so you will be hearing from me in October. I'm going to be having September off, but I will be doing my weekly affirmation. So you'll be hearing me then. Okay, so I love you all. Enjoy. September okay um, enjoy the rest of your week and you'll be hearing slash seeing from me in October and remember don't give up on your dreams <laughs>